Chapter 833, Crazy Girl. The monarch looked at the two of them and smiled mysteriously. Since my daughter is so in love, what else can I do? Zayani, you can stay here. Just know that you can't run away. You have to follow young noble Lee wherever he goes. I don't want to be your beast master citadel's babysitter. Li Kai immediately rejected this idea. The monarch smiled mysteriously in response. My daughter isn't bad at all. If you keep her around, she will be a lot of help in the future. Okay, young noble Li, I'll be leaving my daughter in your care. Having said that, the monarch immediately left while Long Jinxi and stayed behind. His actions left the basilisk's group as astounded. This was quite unthinkable. Not to mention Long Jinxian was the Citadel's golden daughter. Just her looks and unique talents alone won her many suitors across the stone medicine world. They could form a line from the south all the way to the north of the beast realm. But at this moment, the monarch left his beloved daughter to Li Kai. This was the same as having a beautiful bride falling out of the sky. It was even more unbelievable than a free meal. Is he really leaving and not just hiding somewhere to ambush me when I am careless to take me back to the Citadel? Even Long Jinxian was doubtful. She looked around discreetly just like a thief. After assuring herself that her father really was gone, she became thrilled and jumped up to say, Hooray, I'm finally free. I can go wherever I want now. Jian Wash Wang stared at her and quipped, Crazy girl. Long Jingxian immediately turned around to look at her and countered, Oh, are you unhappy? You must be afraid that I will steal your thunder so you want me to leave, right? Jian Wash Wang met her glare and harshly said, Afraid of a crazy girl like you? I don't have time for that. Just like before, the basilisk's group quickly fled in order to avoid the crossfire. HMPH, I'm the one who doesn't care to compete with you. Long Jingxian raised her head higher in order to look down on Jian Wash Wang. Okay, you can stop acting so outrageously from now on. Li Kai said, you have to listen to me if you want to stay, or else I'll throw you back to the Citadel. HMPH, who says I have to listen to you? Long Jingxian snorted, I'm not going with you, I would rather travel around the world instead. Little girl, I don't have time for your nonsense. Li Kai looked at her and dismissively said, if you keep on disobeying me, I really will tie you up and take you back home. This is my area of expertise. Jian Wash Wang immediately backed up Li Kai and posed for battle. Jian Wash Wang, you alone won't be able to do anything to me. Long Jingxian wasn't afraid of Jian Wash Wang and provoked her. Li Kai interrupted her with a wave of his sleeve. Wash Wang might not be able to capture you, but I won't be so polite. Your two options are to either obediently follow me or get thrown back to the citadel. Long Jingxian looked at Li Kai and revealed an amorous smile that would drive people crazy. She pulled on Li Kai's arm once more and cheerfully said, I am a cute and meek girl. I'll just listen to husband and she continued on while looking at Jian Wash Wang. Husband, Jian Wash Wang must be working for you. I will help you in the future, so let me be in charge of her. Okay? Jian Wash Wang arrogantly stared at her and coldly stated, Are you dreaming? Li Kai looked at Long Jingxian with one eye. Little girl, there's no need to play around with me as you won't be able to bear defeat. First, I don't want to marry you. Second, even if I do take you as my wife, it still wouldn't be your turn to control those on my side. Also, Wash Wang came before you, so in terms of status, you have to call Wash Wang big sister. Bah! I won't call her big sister. She shouldn't even think about it. Long Jingxian immediately rejected this idea. Come, come, call me big sister and maybe I'll treat you well in the future. Jian Wash Wang put on a big sister act. Nice try. Long Jingxian coldly responded. Come fight me then. The loser will have to call the winner big sister. You think I'm afraid of you? I don't put someone who has a disorganized mess of unrefined merit laws in my eyes at all. Jian Wash Wang sneered. The two of them would instantly argue after a few verbal exchanges as if they were born to fight each other. There's no need to waste time here. Li Kai interrupted their fight and commanded, Wash Wang, you have other things to tend to such as training. As for you, if you want to be the big sister, then it won't be difficult at all. Listen to me while and train right now so as to not waste your talents. Who says I want to train? Long Jingxian angrily glared at Li Kai. Cultivation was her least favorite activity. Otherwise, she wouldn't have escaped from the citadel. Oh? Li Kai gave her a look. You don't want to run around everywhere and broaden your horizons at the Ben Beast World? Ben Beast World. Her eyes lit up in excitement after hearing this. Li Kai nonchalantly said, If you want to go, then you have to listen to me. Look at your current cultivation right now. A natural immortal fate with such a cultivation. Your level is simply an affront to your gift. If I had an immortal fate, I would have already become a mortal emperor by now. I'm not a half-hearted person like you, who says my level isn't good enough. Long Jingxian wasn't convinced. Even if Yi King Cheng was here, I can still compete against him. Li Kai coldly glared at her. Don't be unconvinced. Although you have many emperor laws, they aren't refined so you can't unleash their ultimate power. At your level, I just need to show my immortal physique to completely suppress you. As for Yi King Cheng, he isn't worthy of consideration. Li Kai continued with harsh words. You have an immortal fate, so do not compare yourself to nobody's. If you want to compare yourself to someone, then it has to be people like Empress Hong Tian or Immortal Emperor Fiang. Their talents were much worse than yours, but at your age, they were already looking down on the world after experiencing many bloody battles. Long Jingxian was arrogant, but that arrogance melted away after Empress Hong Tian was brought up. In fact, even other emperors couldn't act arrogant when existence like Empress Hong Tian was the topic of discussion. Practice your most basic merit law to not waste your immortal fate. Li Kai commanded, even Wash Wang has now surpassed you. She has her own Tao of archery. What about you? I know that you are proud, but if you didn't have an immortal fate, you would have nothing. 
not to mention competing with Wu Shuang. Even ordinary cultivators would easily defeat you given your mentality. Li Kai scolded her like a strict teacher. She was the jewel princess at the citadel. From top to bottom, everyone there pampered her to no end. Plus, due to her heaven-shattering talents and ability to learn from just a single glance, even if the elders wanted to yell at her, they didn't know where to start. Thus, she enjoyed nothing but adoration. Now, the proud Long Jingxian had no response to Li Kai's criticism. She grew quiet and didn't say anything for a long time. Li Kai looked at her and continued on. From now on, you will begin your training. You can play around the other emperor laws, but the focus will be on your basic foundation law. Li Kai dismissively said, Why do you think your father casually left you here? He had a good reason for doing so. If it wasn't for him showing some respect, I would have been too lazy to keep you here. Stay here and practice well. When it is time to play, I will take you along. After a while, Long Jingxian raised her head to look at Li Kai. She didn't seem to be angry as she intimately pulled on his arm again and smiled. Okay, I'll practice just as you want then. However, if I am to try hard, you will have to make Jian Hua Shuang call me big sister. Li Kai looked at her in response. If you want to bargain, wait until you can surpass Hua Shuang, then ask again. HMPH, what's the big deal? I can definitely surpass her. Long Jingxian was full of confidence as she provoked Jian Hua Shuang. I'm going to go train now. Get ready to call me big sister. She smirked before leaving. After she left, Jian Hua Shuang glared at Li Kai who says I want to call her big sister. Li Kai smiled. Is our proud Wash Wang not confident? Are you afraid of losing to her? Although this brat's immortal fate is incredible, it is a shame that she likes to play around so much and has forfeited the best opportunities. If she had opened 12 palaces prior to this, then it would truly be difficult for you to catch up to her. Alas, she lost the chance. Now, you just need to wholeheartedly embark on your Tao of archery. Then she might not be able to surpass you even in the future. Who says I'm afraid of her surpassing me? Jian Wash Wang proudly declared, This lady is not afraid of anyone. I like your style. Li Kai nodded with a smile. Your goal is not this brat. You just need to keep following your own path. The extreme with the bow and a mind aiming for the Tao. Just like that, you shall be you. Just like your name. A peerless Tao of archery unique across all the eons. Got it? The achievements of others are not important. The only thing that matters is that you shall be unique. Jian Wang paused for a moment before gently nodding. 